ISIS Chad with the Will Edwards Show. Totally stoked to be doing an interview with Burt McCracken of the U's down here at Brooklyn Bowl. Burt, thanks first of all. You're welcome. Sitting down with me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks so for just, your time. Yeah, so you're just finishing up the tour. Uh, Taking Back Sunday was on that tour, right? Right, yeah, right. we've done like a couple legs with, with Taking Back Sunday, so I feel like we've been on tour with them for about a year, even though it's not quite a year. We did Australia, we did Southeast Asia, and probably every market in the U.S., so... It's a very, very incredible, successful um, venture. I'm surprised and um, humbled at the amount of fans we still have after almost 15 years. So right, yeah. it's been incredible. Six albums, right? Uh, the hardcore fans will know. I think more than that. <laughs> Seven. Seven albums, right. So when you're not on stage and you're just chilling out, what do you do to, to decompress? I read a lot. Um, that's a good way to decompress on the road. You read? Decompose, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a big Stephen King fan, though, right? Huge. Yeah. So you read a lot of Stephen King? Yeah, I'm stoked. He has a new book coming out in November called Revival. It's supposed to be about some meth heads and satanic priests and stuff. And some more song lyrics. Yeah, sure. maybe. Let's see. Before you had your daughter, too. To now, you have this beautiful little daughter and... It's a, how is, how is life now? Well, it's definitely shaped the way that I feel about the world, and it's kind of caused me to look at, um, I think, the issues of the world a little bit more seriously. Thinking about the type of world my daughter will grow up in um, can be a scary thing, but I do believe that people still have the chance to make a difference in this world. If we want right. to wanna change something, we have to be informed about it. But nobody can really prepare you for... Um, the experience of becoming a dad. It's quite overwhelming and incredible. Yep. I mean, people could say a lot to prepare you, but once it, once it, it happens, it, that, that feeling of, um, of love is overwhelming. It's great. Is that where a lot of the lyrics stem from, from Imaginary Enemy? Um, like I said, it's kind of it helped me to focus a little bit more on, um, I think what, what punk rock music is, is initially all about, speaking out for those who don't really have a voice to speak for their own. Um, addressing dehumanization and oppression and injustice wherever it exists, because our lives are so blessed and fortunate. Actually, I want to touch on this uh, gas union project that you guys are big fans of, right? Yeah, well, we had an idea to kind of take all the money away from all the rich people and uh, put it back in the artist's hands. The way that opera functions on a purely um, artist to patron type of donation program and we think that music is already free, um, rock shows should be free, and fans should be able to pay the band that they love directly without having to pay the rich people at iTunes or um, whatever third party promotion company or whoever whoever else is the rich fat fuck getting richer, <laughs> you know, I think that yeah. like uh, as a fan of art I want to directly pay the artist that I that I love and that inspires me and that's almost impossible nowadays so our, I guess our, our main goal would be to put out records free um, and then maybe you steal the record from us and we get some incentive to buy like five dollars off a t-shirt or what have you so still in the beginning process and just like anything else a basic um, asset of fundamental economics is, is this trickle down economic system we have that's in place that's really really hard to beat because it's hard to fight big money but um like I said before, I think information is key. Right. I think that when bands find out, or when fans of music find out that they're paying 33% of the money they pay straight to the rich people at iTunes, it's gonna make a little bit of a difference. Hopefully, we'll see. So are you seeing some positive feedback though, from the time I that think started that people, to now? I think the people are, be, are definitely becoming more aware of how kind of upside down and corrupt it is, so. <laughs> Beginning, beginnings of something really special, but how great would it be to live in a world where music is free and shows are free right. and people get to, in, I mean, music is the one um, healthy escape from reality. Not the only, but I think it's a very, very um, important escape. Any uh, pre-show rituals? We do have a... Traditions? Sounds silly. We've been doing it for 11 years, but we always hug up as a group and maybe a few positive words and then we each hug each other individually and we tell each other we love each other. Just kind of feels like it brings the group together right before we go on and everybody's heads immediately get in check. We remember why we're here because we love music and um, nothing seems or feels 
so simple at that moment. It's just like, we're here because we love music and that's it. Every show. Every show. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna do some uh, rapid fire questions awesome. for you real quick here, if you don't mind. Some fun questions. I love it. Favorite cartoon? Uh, I love Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Still one of my favorites. TV show? Um, I stay far away from that. Really? Yeah. Even Breaking Bad? No, no, I watch TV. Give me a break. <laughs> Everyone does. Breaking Bad was incredible. I love uh, House of Cards. House of Cards was amazing. Oh, okay. Musical hero? Hero's a dangerous word. Um, Influence. But John Lennon is a, was a very special man, and he had a real kind of solid idea about um, the way the world could be. Favorite song to cover of all time? Um, we don't do a lot of covers, but um, we do a little thing with Boxful where we've, the beginning is Smells Like Teen Spirit and the end is oh, nice. uh, Killing in the Name of. Nice. So three of the greatest songs ever recorded brought together in one song. Just mash them up. Mash them up. All right, man. Well, I won't take too much more of your time. No I really appreciate you, man. I appreciate your time, too. It was really nice Good to meet you. Good luck with your band as All well. Right. Oh, thank you very much. Right on. All Thanks, right. guys.